morning, Northern Colorado. This is Kyle, Whiskey Zero, Kilo Juliet Mike. I'm located in Fort Collins, and I will be to net control for tonight's NCARC TechNet. The purpose of the TechNet is to enlighten amateur radio operators on topics of a technical nature. We will do our best to answer any technical questions for the benefit of all those who are listening. If there's a subject that has never been made quite clear to you, this is a great opportunity to find an answer. If anyone feels they have information that will help regarding the subject, please give your call sign, and net control will call on you. This net may be interrupted at any time for emergencies or priority traffic. If you need to use the system for an emergency during the net, say break and give your call sign. We will acknowledge you and suspend the net until you advise that you are clear. Is there any emergency or priority traffic at this time? Hearing none, all licensed amateur radio operators with 70 centimeter privileges are encouraged to check into the net. Club membership is encouraged, but never required for participation. Check-ins are requested for the purpose of counting participation and no checkout is ever required. This is W0, KJM, net control for tonight's NCARC TechNet. When checking in, please give your call sign slowly, first alphabetically, then again using the ITU phonetic alphabet, along with your name and location. When checking in, please state if you have a topic that you would like to discuss, and check-ins will be taken in groups of three. When I've acknowledged the first group of three, I will then move on to the next group of three. I will start by taking check-ins from call suffixes alpha through mic. Alpha through mic, please call now. AE0KO, Alpha Echo Zero, Kilo Oscar, Brad, Mobile in Wellington. No card. Good evening, Kyle. N0EMP, November Zero Echo, Mike Papa, Greg in Fort Collins, with Debbie, K0DBE, Kilo Zero, Delta Bravo Echo. No traffic. Net Control would like to acknowledge AE0KO, N0EMP, and K0DBE. I'll take the next group of three. Alpha through Mike, please call now. This is November 5, Whiskey Mike Sierra, N5, WMS, John, and Fort Collins. This is K0HAK, Kilo Zero, Hotel Alpha Kilo, Dave, and Fort Collins. This is K0AZA. Kilo Zero Alpha Zulu Alpha, Ron in Fort Collins, no traffic. Net Control would like to acknowledge N5, WMS, K0, HAK, and K0, AZA. Uh, I'll take the next group of three, Alpha through, uh, Alpha through Mike, please call now. This is K, F, 5, C, E, X, Kilo, Foxtrot, 5, Charlie, Echo, X-Ray, David in Timnus. Yeah, uh, this is W zero L E I Whiskey Zero Lima Echo India Chad in Stout. This is K F zero K O X Kilo Foxtrot Zero Kilo Oscar X Ray Dennis in Greeley. And no traffic. Net Control would like to acknowledge KF5CEX, W0LEI, and KF0KOX. I'll take the next group of three alpha through Mike. Please call now. K0MLG, Kilo Zero, Mike, Lima, Golf, Marty, Wellington with traffic. Wellington. Uh, that Wellington station, can you call again, please? KF0GQH, Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Golf, Quebec Hotel. Kent in Wellington. Gotcha, Kent. Thanks. Uh, Net Control would like to acknowledge K0MLG and KF0GQH. Uh, we're going to open it up to uh, all suffixes alpha through Zulu. Uh, alpha through Zulu, please call now in groups of three. Hello. This is Gulf, Quebec, India. Doc in Pierce. This is AE3TV. Alpha Echo 3, Tango Bravo. Tom in Wellington. No traffic. This is... November zero, November Yankee Yankee, N zero N Y Y, Bart in Evans, with Gene, N zero Q X Q, November zero, Quebec X Ray Quebec. Good evening, Kyle. Good to hear you. All right, uh, Net Control would like to acknowledge AE three T B N zero N Y Y N zero Q X Q and uh, Doc. I got your suffix in there. Uh, what was your prefix? One more time, please. KF0GQI. 
Net Control would like to acknowledge KF0 GQI. Thank you so much. I'll take the next group of three alpha through Mike. Please call now. November 0 Tango Zulu Uniform. Oops, I guess I should have started with N0 TZU, Bob and Bertha. This is W0BNC, Whiskey Zero, Bravo November Charlie, Bob and Nun. This is AE0CF, Alpha Echo Zero, Charlie, Foxtrot, Ben, Four Collins. Net Control would like to acknowledge N0TZU, W0BNC, and AE0CF. Uh, I'll take the next group of three. Uh, Alpha, your mic, please call now. This is KM6, VAY, Kilo Mike 6, Victor Alpha Yankee, Steve, Fort Collins. KE0, CPR, Kilo Echo 0, Charlie Papa Romeo, Mark, and Fort Collins. This is KF0, LES, Kilo Foxtrot 0, Lima Echo Sierra, Greg, and Fort Collins. This is W0, KJM Net Control for the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio, ugh, Amateur Radio Club Weekly TechNet. Uh, Net Control would like to acknowledge KM6VAY, KE0CPR, and KF0LES. Uh, I'll take the next group of three, Alpha through Zulu. Please call now. This is K2KLT, Kilo 2, Kilo Lima Tango, calling from Nun, Colorado. This is... KF0, KYO, Kilo, Fox, Tri Zero, Kilo Yankee, Oscar, Trip in Fort Collins, no traffic. This is K0AEM, Kilo Zero, Alpha Echo Mike, Steve in Fort Collins. Net Control would like to acknowledge K2KLT, KF0KYO, and K0AEM. And uh, that first call sign, K2KLT, I think that's Kari, and if it is, congratulations on the new vanity call. Um, Net Control would like to take the next group of call signs, Alpha through Mike, in groups of three. Please call now. KF0LDS, Kilo Foxtrot Zero, Lima Delta Sierra, Norval in Lakewood. And I have KF zero L A V. That's Kilo Foxtrot Zero Lima Alpha Victor Laura here with me and I have traffic. Net control would like to acknowledge KF zero L D S and KF zero L A V. Uh are there any other check ins? And we'll also be taking uh late check ins if uh anybody wants to hop in late. Um but uh one last call for check ins, Alpha through my or Alpha through Zulu, please call now. KD zero EXV Kilo Delta Zero Echo X Ray Victor Brian Greeley. Net control would like to acknowledge KD zero EXV. Uh we'll take a, a quick poll and see if there's any uh, Echo Link stations out there. If there's any Echo Link stations, uh Alpha Zulu, please call now. This is Kilo Zero Lima Echo Echo K Zero L E E. Lee and Greeley. Fantastic. Net Control would like to acknowledge uh, K0LEE. Uh, let's uh, begin here with uh, K0MLG. Uh, Marty, take it away. Uh, good evening to the net. Thanks for taking the net tonight, Kyle. We had a great uh, half marathon yesterday. Thanks to everybody that's listening that was there yesterday to help support that. We learned a few things. And uh, we will uh, we will make it better for the next time. And the next time, um, not an Equinox event, but the uh, Colorado Marathon is May 7th. Looking for operators for that. And probably going to take more than we have in the past, which is about two dozen, due to the fact that planning on running ENVIS communications for this event and uh, speaking of which break we had a pretty successful NVIS testing on Saturday those that missed it missed out on a plethora of knowledge and the best brisket this side of the Atlantic Ocean and this side of the Pacific uh, south of the Canadian border and north of the Mexican border how about that anyway um, May 7th, 
is the Colorado Marathon. It's an early one, although not all of the eight stations have to be up before the roosters crow. Right, right after that is uh, one of my favorite ones because of the the uh, special people that are involved. It's cast for kids, which is catch a special thrill and take. Uh, I don't know what the proper PC term is now. I've always said special needs, but some people get offended. But whatever your term is, it's special needs kids. Mild to wild. Take them out on boats with uh, anglers that have, uh, they know a thing or two about angling. And we as hams support the event with uh, communication on land mainly. If I have enough hams, uh, in enough boats and maybe one or two out on the water um, it's a great event if you're interested in doing any of those uh, please contact me after net k0mlg or my email is good on qrz or i can give it to you here it's kilo charlie zero quebec oscar kilo at gmail kc zero q k at Gmail if you're interested in any of those or we will be having more invest testing uh, this spring sometime it's in the works we just don't have dates yet K0MLG back to net well fantastic thanks Marty and again I, I'm real bummed out that I missed out on Saturday uh, stuck at work but uh, oh well next time I'll, I'll uh, do my best to make it um, does anybody have any questions for Marty all right, hearing none, we'll move on to uh, KF0LDS. Go ahead and take it away. KF0LDS, can you guys hear me all right? You sound fantastic. Go ahead. All right, this is kind of a technical question. I'm a little new to the ham radio. I'm not new to the concept, just new to the operation part. And I actually... <laughs> For a living, I build industrial control panels, and I mess with all kinds of stuff. Um, I've been, uh, come up with some off-the-grid solar stuff and so on and so forth. But I've got one thing, break. I've got one thing that's bouncing around in my head that I can't quite figure out. And it might be a little technical, and we might want to take it offline sometime, but I'm going to go ahead and throw it out there, break. Let's say I go out and buy myself a repeater, and I set it up here. I'm in Lakewood, and I set it up here on one of these mountains, and we call it the normal repeater. And it uh, does what repeaters do. We get it all set up, and we can all use it, and so on and so forth. So uh, the reason I'm asking is I'm on a linked repeater to the horse tooth repeater. So, can I still use all that that we're doing and include that link to another repeater on it? Are they designed that way? Or do I specifically have to buy a repeater to link to another repeater? Um, help me understand your question a little bit more. Are you trying to set up a repeater and get it linked to the horse tooth repeater? Um, is, is that what you're asking? No, I know they already have that one out. I'm actually on that one right now here in uh, Jefferson County. I'm wondering if I have to buy uh, two separate repeaters to have one, like the normal repeater, let's call it, if I want to set up up here and get all registered and working perfectly. But can I use that same repeater with all the same functions to link to another repeater, say, uh, in Larimer County or wherever, or do I need a second repeater to do that? N0EMP. I was really hoping you'd uh, step in here, Greg. Uh, go ahead, N0EMP. So if you wanted to link your own repeater to an NCARC repeater or a Rocky Mountain Ham repeater, or now the Colorado Connection, we all use our own point-to-point -point microwave links and a repeater controller called an RTCM, or a Radio Thin Client Module, 
that runs an asterisk voice over IP protocol. So if you were going to link to one of us with your repeater, you'd have to have that equipment be running that system and get permission to connect the microwave, your microwave link into our microwave backbone. If you wanted two repeaters at two locations that you wanted to link together, you could do that any number of ways. Um, you could do it like we're doing it, or you could do it over a telephone line or internet link, uh, any variety of ways, and zero EMP. Thank you for your input and zero EMP. That mostly answered my question. Thank you, guys. Go ahead, Marty. Well, I'm curious. Why would you want to? Why do you want to link another repeater to a repeater that you can already access? Honestly, I was just curious if this uh, repeater that I'm linked to right now, if that is specifically set up for me to be able to talk to Horse Tooth, or if it has a dual purpose. That's all. Yeah, good question. Um, well, Rocky Mountain Ham runs the, the, the 750, and it was linked purposely to the 447-275 that NCARC has, owns, maintains. And they have a working partnership where they both help each other out. Uh, we have, you know, they have equipment up here. We have equipment. We help them out. It's a great relationship that is. Uh, not seen all that much. I'm not going to go into why, but it's a great partnership that's um, transpired very well over just the last three years. It's just unbelievable. Also, one does not simply just go buy a repeater and put it on the air. Um, you have to get repeaters coordinated through the Colorado Council, Council of Amateur Radio Clubs. And VHF pairs, a pair is the input and the output. VHF might as well forget about. Um, it's uh, along the front range anyway, maybe out in the eastern plains. I just got a UHF pair for a new repeater and felt pretty lucky to do that. So um, good question. And... Uh, I also say, like in Cark, Rocky Mountain Ham, they're they, if you ask them to link one of your repeaters to their equipment, it's just probably not going to happen. That's I'll reset this. They have too much invested, and uh, they've spent a lot of time and hours setting up a reliable network with um, commercial grade equipment. Uh, the improvement from what it is now to what it was 10 years ago is um, probably a hundredfold. It's just incredible. So don't want to burst your bubble, but, uh, you know, you could get a portable repeater and, and use a shared pair or an experimental pair, but it's not going to be a, something that you'd be able to have on the air unless you can get a pair. Um, Hopefully that answers your question. K0MLG. It does, Marty. Thank you. Uh, KF0LDS, and as I said before, it was just curiosity. I was wondering about this repeater down here. I, I don't have any intention of <laughs> pairing any repeaters. Thank you for your input, KF0LDS. I had one more thing. Yankee still has their super specials on uh, repeaters. And normal, you could get one, and uh, you could probably get a pair for up there in the uh, um, up there at the property. That'd be really cool to add to what's already up there. All right, back to that K Zero MLG. This is Whiskey Zero Kilo Juliet Mike, <clears throat> net control for the NCARC Weekly TechNet. Um, thank you, uh, KF Zero LDS, for your question, and uh, thanks, uh, Greg and Marty, uh, for your input. Um, are there any uh, late check-ins, additional comments, questions, or other discussion? 
VNC comment? Go ahead, Bob. LDS, I, I think one part of your question had to do with whether or not a repeater has to be a standalone repeater when being linked. And Greg and Zero EMP, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I believe the answer to that is no. Um, part of the microwave backbone is that we can link and unlink repeaters at will. Um, I think Greg is one of those, ke 6 ETE is another one. We have several people in our area that are part of NCARC that have the ability to go online and either reboot those uh, those systems when they go down or select certain repeaters that are uh, repeaters that are part of that backbone to link them link them and make them part of that system or unlink them and be standalone um, um, hopefully that was an answers that one part of your question wait a minute wait are these linked via internet Negative. They are linked over a microwave system, but that microwave system is, is accessible over the Internet by certain people to configure or reconfigure or reboot the system. The system itself is not linked over the Internet. It's a microwave connection, a uh, 5 gigahertz microwave connection, I believe. Okay, got it. And actually, you answered my question perfectly. Thank you. KFC LDS. Fantastic. Well, I'm glad we could answer your question. Uh, this is W0, KJM, Net Control for the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club Weekly TechNet. Are there any late check-ins, additional comments, questions, or other discussion for the net tonight? W2, M-I-C, Whiskey 2, Mike, India, Charlie, Mark, Loveland. Net Control would like to acknowledge W2, MIC. Glad you could make it, Mark. Uh, any other late check-ins or additional comments, questions, or other discussion? This is Kilo Delta Zero, Tango Yankee Uniform, KD0TYU with traffic. Go ahead and take it away, Joe. We've had a few emails that were flying around this week, and we really tried to get this done, is to be able to link the Greeley repeater uh, with the 275 or one or the other. Uh, James and I talked last night, and we're, he has to write a small script for that, and I do know that he's very, very busy. He tried to get it done for tonight, but we're going to try to get it uh, maybe for Wednesday night or something like that also. I just want to keep everybody up to date that we are really trying to get this thing done. Uh, it's just uh, one of those things that uh, um, kind of went to the back. So um, that's pretty much it. Katie's your TYU back to net. Go ahead, comment. KD zero exv. Uh, yeah, Joe. Uh, thank you and thank you, James. I think it will be a great improvement to the end card system and uh, help the Greeley folks and those around Greeley uh, using HTs. You're very welcome, my friend. This is W0, KJM Net Control for the NCRC Weekly TechNet. Are there any late check-ins, additional comments, questions, or other discussion before we close the net this evening? K0, FNL, Kilo Zero, Fox, November, Lima. K0, GET, Kilo Zero, Golf, Echo, Tango for check-in only. Net Control would like to acknowledge K0, FNL, and K0, GET. Are there any other late check-ins? Kilo Echo Zero, Romeo X-Ray, Fox, Trout, Randy, for Golf, just checking in. Net Control would like to acknowledge uh, KE0REF. Please let me know if I got that right. It's RXF, Romeo X Ray Fox Run. Sorry about that. Uh, <clears throat> Net Control would like to acknowledge KE0RXF. Uh, are there any other late check ins? Are there any additional comments, questions, or other discussion before we close the net this evening? Yeah, this case is with you. I guess I do have a question. Fantastic. I'd love to hear it, Joe. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm wondering how many people out there got in uh, in on the worldwide uh, DX contest this weekend. Six. You got six. I got 22. <laughs> how many other people got on? Well, folks, I tell you what, you need to get on that thing. That is the coolest thing. I mean, I talk to countries I have no idea even how to spell. <laughs> it was fun. They do it usually um, this time of year, and I think there's one in fall, too. Uh, and it's voice. They also want to have, have one for CW, Ritty, and believe it or not, they don't have one for FT8. 
Um, but anyway, um, I, I think it's a real, real good contest. It's run by ARRL. And just to get on and just do it, you don't have to log anything if you don't want to. It's just the countries that are out there that are pumping 1,500 watts to you, it's really cool. So anyway, back to Matt. Uh, there was a station there that doubled with Joe. Uh, doubling station, uh, please call back. Uh, K0 FNL, not important. Out. Gotcha. Sorry about that. Um, are there any additional uh, late check-ins, uh, comments, questions, or other discussion? K0 GET with a quick question. Go ahead. Well, uh, this is, I guess, now my third transmission on this linear that I just bought. It's a... Uh, uh, linear off of uh, AliExpress, and it's putting out uh, 56 watts with 4 watts into it. Just wondering if I'm sounding good or if there's any RF distortion or anything like that. You sound fantastic to me. Uh, I wouldn't have any complaints whatsoever. Well, thank you for that. I'm glad to hear that this thing's uh, doing good. It was about $100, and it's supposed to crank out up to 80 watts. Super cool. I've always been uh, a little scared of uh, getting anything from... Uh, any of those uh, those websites like AliExpress or, or any of those kinds of things, because you never really know exactly what you're going to be getting. Sometimes sometimes you you win big, other times you uh, well get a little um, not scammed, but uh, I guess let down is the word I'm looking for there. So uh, I'm glad it worked out for you. That, that's uh, it's wonderful to hear. Um, this is W0 KJM Net Control for the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club Weekly TechNet. Are there any additional uh, late check-ins, comments, questions, or other discussion for the net? And zero EMP. Go ahead, Greg. Yeah, regarding the amplifier, yes, it sounds great on this repeater, which means it sounds great on your output on the on the input frequency of this repeater. The other thing you got to worry about, though, with an amplifier is is it putting out harmonics? So. Although it works for getting into this repeater and it sounds good, you'll want to find someone with a spectrum analyzer or a service monitor to make sure it's not putting out a bunch of RF where it's not supposed to be. And zero EMP. Thanks for your input, Greg. Um, are there any additional uh, late check-ins, comments, questions, or any other discussion before we close the net this evening? Alrighty, well, hearing none, this concludes the NCARC TechNet. NetControl would like to thank each station for their participation. We had a total of, let me count real quick here, uh, 33 check-ins. Um, this net will occur again next Monday at the same time on this repeater. This is Whiskey Zero, Kilo Juliet Mike, closing the net at 1836 local time. Uh, seven threes and good night, everyone. Thanks, y'all. This presentation was brought to you by the Northern Colorado Amateur Radio Club. For more information, visit our website, ncarc.net. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe.